In Activity 2, Good Vibrations, students use a tuning fork to explore the relationship between sound and vibration. They first listen to sounds and then observe the vibrations of objects as they produce those sounds. Students finally infer that when applied energy makes an object vibrate, its vibrations produce sound. You will need the following materials from the kit. Activity Sheet 2 Combs Plastic Tumblers Tuning Forks Plastic 30 cm by 30 cm and Waxed Paper You will also need to provide paper towels, scissors, and tap water. To prepare for the activity, make a copy of Activity Sheet 2 for each student. Cut a piece of waxed paper, 8 cm to 12 cm, and a piece of plastic, 1.25 cm to 10 cm for each student. Then, fill each plastic tumbler 3 quarters full of water. Each student will need a comb, a piece of waxed paper, and a strip of plastic. Each team of two will need a tuning fork, a tumbler of water, and a paper towel. To begin the activity, divide the class into teams of two. Without saying what it is, give a tuning fork to each team. Instruct students to examine the tuning fork carefully. Then ask, does the object you are examining make a sound? Answers will depend on whether or not the students struck it against another object or not. Identify the object they are examining is a tuning fork, an instrument that gives a fixed tone when struck. Challenge students to produce a sound. They should discover that a sound is produced by striking one prong of the tuning fork against another object, such as a desk. Ask students, how can you hear the sound best? Sound can best be heard when the tuning fork is held close to the ear. Then ask, how would you describe the sound produced by the tuning fork? Students should suggest a high-pitched ringing sound. Ask students, how do you think the tuning fork produces this sound? Accept all reasonable suggestions. Give each student a copy of Activity Sheet 2 and tell them to record the results of their experiment with the tuning fork. Next. Instruct one student on each team to gently tap the tuning fork against an object, and then touch it lightly to the hand of a second student. Repeat this procedure until everyone has felt the tuning fork. Again, have them record their observations. Ask students, what did you feel when the tuning fork touched your hand? The students may describe feeling a soft tickling sensation. Then ask, how can you explain what caused this feeling? They may suggest that the tuning fork was moving. Distribute the tumblers and a paper towel to each team. Instruct students to gently tap the tuning fork against a desk and then quickly touch the surface of the water with the tip of the tuning fork. It is important that the tuning fork touches only the surface of the water and not be inserted down into the water. Have them record their observations. Ask students, what happened when the tuning fork touched the water? Students should respond that the water rippled in all directions. Then ask, why do you think the water rippled? Students should suggest that the tuning fork was moving and that it made the surface of the water move. Define vibrate as to move rapidly back and forth. The vibration, or back and forth movement, is often so fast that their eyes cannot follow the movements. Ask students, do you think the tuning fork could have been vibrating? Most students will agree that the tickling sensation on their hands and the ripples on the water's surface could have been caused by the vibration of the tuning fork. Inform the students that their vocal cords are located in their throats and produce the sounds that their mouths shape into speech. Instruct the students to hum and put their fingers on their throats. Have them observe what they feel and hear and record their observations on the activity sheet. Next, give each student a comb and a piece of waxed paper. Fold the wax paper in half lengthwise and place it over the comb. Purse your lips slightly so that a thin stream of air comes out as you make a humming sound. Then, 
Hold the comb with the waxed paper in front of your lips, but not touching them, as you continue to make the humming sound. Instruct students to do the same. They should notice both the sound and the feeling as they blow and hum against the waxed paper. Have them record their observations on the activity sheet. Ask students, what did you hear when you played the comb? They should have heard a different and louder humming sound with the comb and paper. Inform students that the same humming sound is different when done against the comb because when vibrating air leaves the mouth, it causes the paper to vibrate against the comb, producing an additional vibration and a different and louder sound. Ask students, what did you feel? They should have felt a tickling sensation on their lips. Encourage answers that include the terms vibrate and vibration. Next, give each student a strip of plastic. Instruct them to put their thumbs together side by side, thumbnails up. Point out the small space between their thumbs. Have them place the strip of plastic between their thumbs, pulling it tightly and holding it in place with the bottoms and tops of their thumbs. Then, Blow on the part of the plastic that is in the space between their thumbs. Encourage them to watch for changes in the plastic. Have them record their observations on the activity sheet. Ask students, what did you see happening to the strip of plastic when another student blew on it and made a sound? The students will see that the plastic was vibrating. Finally, have the students review all of the observations they recorded on the activity sheet. Ask, what did your ears tell you about all the objects you tested? All the objects could be used to produce sound. Then ask, what did you observe and feel when you tested the objects? Some objects could be seen to vibrate, such as the plastic strip. Vocal cord vibrations could be felt but not seen. Some objects showed they were vibrating by affecting other materials such as the tuning fork rippling water. Remind the students that none of the objects vibrated by themselves. They needed energy, striking, humming, and blowing to cause them to vibrate and thus produce sounds. To conclude the activity, have the students dump out the water and use the paper towel to dry the tumbler. Throw away the paper towel, wax paper, and plastic strips. Then, have them return the tumbler and comb to the kit. For science background, reinforcement activities, curriculum connections, and information about the Delta Science Reader, please consult your DSM Teacher's Guide.